Welcome Aquarius to your Astrodice reading for February. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. And remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, you could go watch your rising moon or Venus. And take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, go ahead and throw away. Coming in with some Leo energy. Ooh, is that the, I think that's the south node. Nope, that's the north node. With the north node into the fifth house. So the north node is talking about karmic goals that you are working towards in your lifetime. So going after those karmic goals. So we're going to use Vesta, of course, because we don't have north node. So where are you? There you are. Okay, the goddess of within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. So it's literally just talking about the soul pieces of yourself. So it, this card works great with north and south uh, nodes of karma. So you're just really wanting to spirit uh, to spiritually center yourself um, within dignity to get to this karmic goal. Okay, so and you have. Leo. Dramatic, proud, passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. So you're going to use this energy of Leo and definitely going into the fifth house. The fifth house is talking about love, romances, um, creating things, which is great with Leo, right? Uh, Leo is a great creator, um, has that creativity going on. So having fun, doing things that you are proud of. Um, and then of course, talking about this karmic goal. So is your karmic goal um, to create things. Is that a part of your karmic goal? Um, is, do you feel, you know, romance? Okay. So. So it's indicating your soul's mission. Okay. So this is suggesting experiences that are in line with your soul's destiny and from which you can gain advancement in your spiritual development and karmic path. So whatever we're going to talk about is a part of your soul's mission. It's a part of your karmic path. Okay. Your destiny. Ooh. Digging deep over here. straight into the situation. Situation is taking place at the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. On this karmic path. Well, it looks like you're definitely feeling like you're done nursing. Yeah, escaping that energy. Wow. Okay, so the beginning of the month, there is definitely some uh, wanting to escape the hurts and pains um, because something is making you feel like it was trouble. Uh, it was, you could have been insecurity. So you are definitely getting away from all of this at the beginning of the month. It's almost like that part of your karmic is over. Okay. Putting an end to whatever insecurities you might have had, whatever disappointments you had, made you lick your wounds back you know to healing yourself um tired of feeling this way so definitely getting away from that yeah wherever the passion was not could oh, that's yourself unless you're dealing with another Air aquarius you know, you could be dealing with another aquarius um wow we got fire water and air i think this is just yourself so you're dealing with, could be a Sag Cap, or just an, a fire sign itself, or another or a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or Sag Cap. This is a Sag Cap card, so however it is, you personally, Aquarius, this is yourself coming up saying, I have ended this, I want no more of this. I know where I want to be, I know who I want, what I want, 
and this is where I'm going and this is my soul's destiny. That's really what you're feeling and that's what they're telling you. Um, so if you are getting away from someone who brought you no passion, you may have met someone that you feel you are connected to solely. Okay, if you were just been in this and there was no one else involved, um, you're done with not having passion, not feeling the hopes and pains, um, hopes and pains, yeah, having pains, that's for sure, I see the pains over here, <laughs> not having the hopes and desires that you are going after that, you're tired of not having your nine of cups, you are destined with Investa to have whatever it is you're looking at as the king of swords. It's going to be different for everyone because the King of Swords knows what he wants, when he wants it, and he knows it's right. It's the truth. He's holding the sword of truth. So not only just from a logical perspective of, of the knowing, you also intuitively know this is correct. Um, and for a lot of you, it could be a person. So, so whether or not you know, but like I said, it could be creating things as well. Could, could be, I know this is a masterpiece that I have performed. It's going to go my way. It's the truth. And that's because you're keeping this Leo within yourself. You're very proud of yourself. You're very passionate about what you want, and that's what it is. So you're escaping all these other things that are negative, 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 negative. negative. Everything's negative. And here you are right here saying, I'm tired of it. Okay. Go, Aquarius, go. Getting straight into the mid-month. Clarify on the mid-month for Aquarius, please. Meditating. Taking things into perspective. Resting, knowing, getting deep within your own karma to have the understanding. There is an understanding with the Four of Swords. This rest, it's almost like you are gaining knowledge as you're resting. Maybe some of you even have dreams, and maybe these dreams are bringing out this, this is how I know I've had a dream. However it is, you're doing a lot of resting, a lot of meditating, and a lot of relaxation. Keeping yourself in the knowing with all these swords. Nine of swords upside down. I'm, yeah, see, I'm, where you might have been having nightmares, you might have been having insomnia, you're now not having any of that anymore. You are getting the rest and, and rejuvenation that you need. And there is a lot of faith and a lot of belief going on over here and a lot of hope with this Nine of Swords. Not allowing yourself to have nightmares anymore, not feeling like you live in a nightmare, not allowing yourself to have this negative energy. You definitely are taking on this new energy. Queen of Cups, somebody might have met. Here's the romance. Now, this is in the fifth house, so definitely you guys have might have met a, uh, a water sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a Cancerian card. So you might have met a Cancer. Doesn't have to be any of the above. Um, but however it is, it's also you perceiving that you know this is where I want to be. Whether this is a person, a new love, someone you adore, going back to someone. Could even be going back, right? Saying, I don't want to live without you. I know I'm supposed to be with you. Okay, because you're the one I love. You're the one I adore. So take it how resonance could be, an, you know, an ex. It could be a new love. Um, it could be this is where I want to do my hobbies. This is my projects. This is where my destiny and my purpose lies. And I know this for a fact. Um, so, and you know that because you can look all the way down into this cup and see your achievements. And whatever this thought is. It's keeping you emotionally balanced where you haven't been emotionally balanced in a while. You know, like I said, because you know what you know. And maybe they have, for somebody, they have come back. Um, I think that last month or a couple of months ago, maybe they came back. And maybe 
they wanted to offer you cups of love, but you were kind of still in your head and you weren't knowing at that time how much they really meant to you. Like maybe you knew they meant a lot, but maybe you were holding on to um, insecurities that they gave you or something bad from the past. Um, and you'd been licking your wounds for a long time. Then all of a sudden you have this, I don't know. It's like now they've been gone for a long time. Now you want them back and you're like, you know what? I think we can make this work. I know that you are my soulmate. I know we're supposed to be together. That's for some of you. Three of Swords. I have this understanding when I'm meditating that if I don't have you, here comes this pain, saking problem within my heart. If I don't do this, I'm holding myself back from either true love, where we're supposed to be, whatever it's supposed to be, whatever your soul's path is, whatever this panic is. It's like you you have this pain and you know it um, and you don't want that. Yeah, where you felt like you, there was underdeterminedness is where the faith is now coming in. It was because you were underdetermined, but now you have the faith. Underdetermined to think that this was going to work. Underdetermined to believe that they could really love you the way maybe you love them. Uh, maybe even underdetermined to think maybe you could love them the way they love you. Because of, some of you might have had insecurities. <clears throat> Yeah, because whatever it was, it was like you were holding them out in the cold. You were neglecting it. Um, maybe you were neglecting the Queen of Cups love. Um, maybe because you had insecurities, you were sad, you were challenged, you blocked your heart. Now you're coming to the realizations, I can't stay out in the cold. I have to go towards this person. This person really is meant for me. This job, this career, this fun, whatever it is. You don't want to do that anymore because it's, get this chill. And I do feel like if it's love, you get this chill. Every time you think about them, you get goosebumps. You're like, there's something going on over here. Well, that's because they're a soulmate. The end of the, the, end of the month, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Come on, guys. Come on. So with the hangman over here, you decide that you're going to go after. You need to go after. Even if you haven't decided this for yourself, the universe is telling you you need to go after this karmic destiny. It's in place for you at this time. It's going to put you on the purpose and make you feel. It's, it's the purpose you need to be on. It's the path you need to be on. Even if it's just a learning path. Right? Let's say that, like, you know, not all paths mean we're going to get married, live happily ever after. This isn't some Disney movie. That's not the point. The point is because then you learn from that karmic. Remember, karmics are learning. Um, so that's going to put you on the path you're supposed to be on. And who knows? Maybe for some of you, it is. Maybe it is the diamond ring you're looking for. Maybe it is the love of a lifetime. I can't tell you whether it is or not. It's going to be different for everyone. But I will tell you one thing. This is where the universe wants you to be. Whatever it is. Whether it's this person. This fun. This whatever it is. And you know it with the king. And so you have the nine of pentacles coming up telling you this is where it's going to be. If you're going to be the entrepreneur and this is your job. This is your job. This is where you're supposed to be. Go sell those parrots. I don't know. <laughs> Go sell those birds. Go sell, you know, whatever it is you're doing. Whatever it is, it's the Nine of Pentacles. It's the place you're supposed to be. This is the place where you're going to find yourself, your individuality, your purpose. And like I said, is it meant forever? Different for everyone. I can't say that. I won't say that. But I will tell you one thing, this is where the hopes and the promises and the dreams come together. This is whatever it was for your sole purpose in your fifth house, this is where it's supposed to be. So just remember that. Because the universe is handing you a pinnacle. He's saying, this is it. This is it. This is what you said you knew, and you're right. It is what you know. And you know it. You feel it. And they're waiting. They're waiting, it's waiting, whatever it is. Stop masking it. Stop pretending like it's not. 
with the Five of Swords coming in into the Vesta, it's almost like you're trying to tell yourself you're wearing your own false mask that sometimes at the end of the month, because you know, all of a sudden you see this Ace of Pentacles come in, you're going to feel that coming into you. Um, it's either going to be handed by the Queen of Cups herself, or somehow or another, it's coming, it, it doesn't matter, it's coming to you. Um, there's going to be some kind of communication that's going to come through to hand you this. Don't mask it. Don't hide from yourself. Don't trick yourself into not moving forward with the hangman. Don't allow yourself to sit in three of swords. Don't allow yourself to be stuck. Because the five of swords is all about yourself when it's coming into the Vesta in, the, in this north uh, mo uh, node. Excuse me. Because it's like you're hiding from yourself. You're hiding from your own destiny, your own truth. Why would you hide from your own truth? Don't do that. Yeah, three of pentacles. Don't tell yourself that there's no success, success or growth. You all of a sudden have this very negative outlook. It's like all of a sudden you know that this is all right. But then it's almost like when it's handed to you, you're going to second guess everything. I don't know. Why? Why would you do that? Why are you second guessing everything? Yeah, you're not sure if you're going to take the Queen of Cups love. Why? Why would you do that? <clears throat> it's all of a sudden like all of a sudden you got what you wanted and then you're going to second guess everything the universe just handed to you. I will tell you right now, if you second guess all of this on that scale... It's like you're causing your own demise. You're allowing yourself to go back to the Nine of Cups, the Four of Cups. It's almost like you're going to do a, a ring around. Self-sabotage. Because you're going to go right back in March to being the Four of Wands, licking your wounds, not understanding why things didn't go your way. Don't do that. And that's really what it is. It's self-sabotage. So, let's just go ahead and see. Now, Spirit says you need to become the King of Wands and understand the passion that is being given to you through the Ace of Pentacles, this passion. Taking on this passion, allowing the passion to come through you, understanding what's going on, having the loyalty to yourself to not self-sabotage yourself, getting your emotions to where they are, perceiving with your own intuition like you did when you were the king of swords, knowing the truth, getting down to having the understanding that the king of cups, who is the queen of cups, who is the page of cups, is coming to you with the intentions of true love. Allowing yourself to have the joy and happiness that you've wanted the whole time. Understanding that the magic that is going on is what you law and attracted. You law and attracted this. And maybe they did too because they're a soulmate. So you guys law and attracted this together and then you're going to self-sabotage it. By showing it weakness. Don't do this. Have the realizations. Yeah, a lot of you, it's from the past. That you can have. Oh my gosh. You can't have the Ace of Cups. And for some of you, not all of you, but you've self-sabotaged this before. <clears throat> not all of you. And if you guys are twin flames, it might be that they sabotage it one time and then you do it again and then you guys are just marrying each other. But however it is, there is a soul connection here with the Vesta. We know that because of karmic. Anytime we have the North Node or the South Node, no matter what, it's karmic. So therefore, it is the soul's purpose. There is a soul connection here with the soul. And if this is art, and all of a sudden you put this piece of art out, and somebody says they want to buy it with the Ace of Pentacles, then you're going to self-sabotage yourself. Maybe they want to give you $80 and you believe it's worth $250 or something. Um, don't self-sabotage that. Go ahead, you know, and just say, hey, wow, I can't believe that I sold this piece because maybe you've never sold a piece before, but then there could be this greediness that's coming out with the Five of Swords. Um, and that's self-sabotage. Um, some things like this, right? 
whatever it is, remember that it was given to you by the Ace of Pentacles, which is divine blessing. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.